What day is this? Is this day four? This is day four. Day four of five under five. Let's go. Hi, my name's Matthew, and today, under five minutes, I will be reviewing Death by Water by Kenzaburo Oe. This is translated from the original Japanese by Deborah Bolivar Boehm. Honestly, this novel, I'm just gonna say it flat out, was a mistake for me. And I don't think this is particularly because the novel was bad. I don't necessarily think that Death by Water is a bad book. But this was my first Kenzaburo Oe novel, and it's not a good place to start. Kenzaburo Oe was the recipient of the Nobel Prize in Literature. He has a very extensive repertoire of work. He's renowned. He's absolutely renowned. And I wanted to read at least one book written by him, especially because I do love translated fiction. But this book in no way was what I expected. So this book follows a man named Kogito, who I believe is a recurring character in other Kenzaburo Owe novels. I wasn't quite clear on this. This book is very, very meta and there are layers upon layers of reality of Kenzaburo Owe's life and his characters' lives and how those intertwine. But this man, Kogito, wants to write a book, a novelization of his father's life. His father drowned in a river during World War II and it has plagued his memory ever since and affected his family life and the way that he interprets the world. So his goal is to travel back to his hometown, collect as much information from his childhood as possible, and finally craft the Drowning Novel, a novel depicting this event. Upon returning home, however, he runs into a theater troupe, and this theater troupe is creating theatrical productions of all of his life work. As an author, Kogito is a novelist, and they have curated and created theater pieces for everything he's written. This is where we get into another layer of like this meta writing thing that Kenzaburo Oe is doing. This theater troupe is creating pieces of fiction based on throwing stuffed dogs at audience members based on a reference to Kokoro by Natsumi Soseki. Which I have not read but plan to read this year, uh, based on other productions that fictionally they have performed in the past and they want to create a new theatrical production based on the drama novel which isn't even written yet. <laughs> Kenzaburo Oe's narrative style is something very different. He does deal with character dialogue in a way that I find a little bit off-putting and fascinating at the same time. The characters in this novel are people who express explicitly their intentions for speaking while they speak. So they'll go up to one character and say, hey, I'm talking to you this way because this person told me to address you this way because they were concerned and I was concerned that it would make you feel uncomfortable if I addressed you this other way. So what I wanted to say in this particular way that I had planned on saying is dot dot dot. Mostly this book is repetition and conversation. It's a little bit of a historical count, but the entire last like 80 pages is just a very harsh discourse on rape culture in Japan. And yes, it, it is as sudden and odd as me just saying it in this video right now. One of the main characters gets into an argument with her community because she wants to put on a theatrical production that graphically depicts a rape scene from history on stage and they don't want her to do that and the discourse ensues. And it's very interesting, it's very good conversation that is being had but it came out of nowhere, slapped me in the face, and then the novel ended. So Death by Water for me was two out of five stars. I would not recommend this book to anyone who has not yet read a different Kenzaburo Oe novel, and unfortunately, that was the case for me. But who knows, hopefully within the span of my career here on BookTube, I will be able to read some of his other stuff, review it for all of you, and then maybe revisit this book in the future. I would like to do that. It would be cool. So if you have any questions, thoughts, comments, opinions, or beliefs about Death by Water by Kenzaburo Oe, put those down below. Or if you just want to say hi, as you know, I always welcome that. I'm off to go to bed because I did my taxes today and therefore I am a good human boy and I deserve a long sleep. I hope you have a lovely day, evening. I don't know what time it is when you're watching this, but I hope it's a good one. And I hope to see you soon. Tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. I have one more of these videos to do. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!